Okay, so welcome to the map tracing section. So in this section, we're going to learn how we can uh, trace map, how to trace maps. So the map you see here, I uh, had to trace this for a course of GIS uh, in my undergraduate courses. So there's a course where I had to do this as an assignment. So this was the map I had to digitize uh, or trace to be precise. And here is the final product after tracing so this took me about uh, let's say three to four hours so i cannot add three to four hours so i cannot show you the whole process but i'm going to show you how you can do it okay well, i am going to show you the whole process but not as precise as i have done here all right so the first step is georeferencing so in this video we're going to be learning how to georeference any kind of uh, maps okay so here we go here we are going to bring our image file don't worry i'm going to provide you the four files so that you can practice a lot now as you can see well it seems it's not here so i have to reconnect the folder so let me just reconnect the folder and come back again okay so i have reconnected the folder and here we have our map tracing folder that i had i have created here previously so here we have the jpg image and this and, uh, not this one sorry about that here this image and this image is not a georeference so at first we're going to georeference it but first we're going to bring it to our workspace now this is a uh, so, uh, this is a window that will pop up if you bring something to your workspace that is not georeferenced georeferenced so there is a mistake first let's remove it so since it was not georeferenced you can see the units are now at unknown units so we cannot have that we need to have known units so let's take a new file again blank map okay no i don't want to save it and here we go now instead of new unknown units we're going to convert it to degrees minutes and seconds uh, the reason we're going to convert it to degrees minutes and seconds because the coordinates here are given in degrees minutes and seconds okay so to do that let's go to view from there we go to data frame properties from there we go to coordinate systems from coordinate systems we go to uh Let's say geographic coordinate systems from there we go to world from there we take wgs 1984 apply and okay as you can see it is now in decimal degrees it is no longer in unknown units now we're going to bring our unreferenced picture here there you go and whenever you uh, bring up an image file here you'll see red green and blue the rgb file because this is an rgb file so what we're going to do now is we're going to do georeferencing. So for that, we're going to need the georeferencing toolbar opened. Okay. So if you don't have the georeferencing toolbar open there, what you can do is go to customize, go to toolbars, and from there you cl click on georeferencing, or you can do a right click here and then click on georeferencing. Uh, I think by this time you are all acquainted with this process. Now from the drop down. You can see fit display we're not going to be using the drop down we're going to be using this at con at control points click on it now the first control point is going to be this so i'm just clicking here a left click and then a right click now you can input x and y coordinates if you know x and y coordinates and if you know the degree minutes and seconds then you should choose the input dms since we are going to input to the degrees minutes and seconds we're going to take input dms there we go now we have to fill in the longitude value that is in the east and the latitude value in this case it is in the north so we're going to check north now the longitude here is 90 and minutes here are 30 and the seconds here are zero so 93 0 and at this place oh sorry let's cut it let's erase it first we need to know the longitude as well there you go since it is uh, 23.45 here and It was 
23.40 so that means it's five minutes apart and this is a bit less than five minutes so we're going to take 23.4 23 degrees and 43 minutes so click on here do right click and put dms we have 90 we have 30 we have zero this is going to be north now in latitude we have 23 and then we have that's 45 then it's going to be 47 3 degrees 3 minutes 47 and give zero here click on ok now control point has been added go to full extent here's our point one now we're going to add point two so this is going to be our point two do a left click here do a right click there go to input dms now this is going to be 90 then we have 40 at the east and 0 and at latitude is going to be the same as before 23 and then we have 47 we have 0 click on ok it's done go to full extent we have two points here now we just need two more we actually need three points to do georeferencing but to be safe uh, we're going to do it always with four points okay now we come down here as you can see it was 23.35 that would mean I'm taking uh, I guess that this is going to be 23 degrees and 30 minutes and we have 90 degrees and 30 minutes here so we're going to click on there do a right click input DMS now for the east we have 90 30 and this is going to be a zero as you can see uh, after just uh, applying two points uh, GIS now is uh, counting the points for us so here's 23 and it is taking 28 as the calculation but we're going to give it 30 so about that you go 30 and 0 click on ok now it is done go to zoom to full extent we have three points we're going to give our last point here all right there we go click on this last point do a right click input dms value 90 40 as you can see it is now more accurate after three points we're applying two points and latitude is 23 30 so as you can see after three points it gets more precise and the fourth point is almost precise so any point you give after that will most probably be precise that's why you just need to put in four points for georeferencing click on ok and our georeferencing is almost done since we have applied the points here all right since we have applied the points here now we're going to go to this georeferencing drop down from there we're going to click on rectify give it save the save now again we go to the drop down of georeferencing and then we click on update georeferencing to save the georeferencing that we just did now the georeferencing has been saved now it has a value uh, how can i tell that if i move uh, keep your eyes here when i move the cursor when i move the cursor here you can see 90 and 23 so here you can see 90 degrees there you go in the east side so we have 90 degrees there and here it was 23 something so when i put my mouse here you'll see 23.783 so we can say that georeferencing for this has been done so in this video that was it for this video in the next video we're going to see how we can create shape files point files and polyline files so i hope this video was helpful for you and you got to learn something new thank you very much for watching if you have found the video to be useful please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one thank you